Hey guys, just a quick recap before we get started this episode. Last episode we talked to some people in Novak. Uh, Manny Vargas told us that uh, he would tell us where the man in the checkered coat went. But we had to come here and clear the ghouls out. We got here. The ghouls are being led by a man named Jason Bright, who is also a uh, glowing one, apparently. And he said that uh, apparently they've been, they're being kept here by demons in the basement. So we are going to go and get rid of the demons in the basement so that the ghouls in the top floor will leave so that Manny Vargas will tell us where the man in the checkered coat is so that we can shoot him in the face. Workbench. Oh. Cycling? Uh, reloading bench? That would be pretty handy. Ooh, is there? Bench. Mm. Yeah. Ah, oh, come yes. now. This has to be a. It's got to be a reloading bench. Yes, yeah, somewhere. Really running quite low. Munition. On test site. Oh. No luck. Any? Well. Hope these uh, hope these demons are uh, is it there? Yeah, that's where I'm going. Basement. And wait. Right there. If anyone comes up. Something over there, no. God. Oh, 
run, 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 run. Ready? Oh god. Nice one. Oh. Okay. Two mines. I'm gonna put one there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other one right there. Okay. Our club. There's another dead nightkin. I did not kill that nightkin. Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Pretty much, well, yeah. Good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. <laughs> you don't look like you're the other ghouls from Bright's group. It's true you don't. You look like you might actually survive a day in the wastes. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine looking ghoulettes in it. Oh, uh, God. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Ah, uh, you have to kill you. Why would I kill him? Uh, how can I help you get out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, Seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. <sighs> yeah, I'll try to find your friend. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Hopefully. Wouldn't hold out too much hope, but... An eyeball. A trap. Got traps and whatnot all over the place in here. Okay. Well, we will let him. That. Uh. See, I don't know if Nightkin have. Armor or not. You don't see me? Very hostile, apparently. Oh god, run! No, 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 run, 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 run! No! Help! Eddie! Help!
Wouldn't reload, wouldn't change change uh, weapons wouldn't reload. Okay. Oof. Ow, one of them hit me. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and heal up a bit. Anything other than Stimpaks? I don't want to get addicted to Stimpak. You know what, Eddie? I'm gonna actually... Have you down here? Right in the dark. Yeah, right there. Answer. No. Using compass or using hollow points on Nightkin was not a smart idea. Press is not. Ah. Head science. Uh, two, I think. Yeah. Sense. Oh, incredibly overpowered. But it doesn't mean that finding them is actually helpful. Be sure, right? Is that what I had set for the other one? Yes. That's wish you could uh, scroll that. someone that was in that corner. Scared the crap out of me.
is down here. Pencil. Some underglue. Conductors and scrap metal. I think I have enough of all that. What is that? Pilot light? I don't think I need that for anything. I haven't seen it anyway. And now I know if ever I do need those things for crafting where I can come get them. Stick to the shadows. Signs. Anything in there, really? A little bit better. Machinery. Oh, a reloading bench. Okay. What am I missing for 556 five, right now? Regular 556? Five, five, primers. It's still primers that I'm not. don't have. What about for the. I can make three of these. Oh, might as well. Self a bit more ammunition there. Ladder, presumably to the outside. to metal. Oh, made flame of fuel. Nice. A bar. Power armor parts. Uh, tactical harness I want to make. We want to make one of those because I believe with the tactical harness I can wear that with medium armor. Could be wrong, but I believe tactical harness can be worn with medium armor and it has a flashlight built into it. Uh, and it also increases your carry weight by a small amount. Seven. Bumper sword. What am I? Stealth nanobots implant. Okay. No more. Go implant. Cool. Look at. Go. Baseline. That's not what we're looking for. Which means this area is not really what we're looking for. Under the wrong part of the sewers.
did see one thing that oh you need a sense of craft. Can't recall what it is now. But I did notice it, so I picked one up. On the off chance I may want to craft that thing later. Thing was. Nothing, nothing interesting, eh? It's empty. Okay. I can run past if I. In here, I really don't. It's out of that. Listening in every. I th think he's either inside that room or this. Keep hitting that thing. That's really quite irritating. That hit him. So. Somehow know that the nightkin are all gone. You know what, Eddie just I've set currently to don't shoot unless not. Or I mean, to
10 cap. Uh, vision battery. I'm now on the ready. Type of fuel. Crafting materials. Come on, come on. Okay, so it's not done here. We're looking for... I guess we can turn the light on since... We somehow magically know through the power of our Pip-Boy that uh, our task is... Ah, oh, yes. Um... Taking these scrap metal, even though I know I don't have the weight for them. I choose to trust my Pip Boy. Methods. Getting kind of low frames here. Crafting supplies. I'm going to have to at uh, some point, I think. Come um, and just pick up all of these things. many conductors and what what not um yes yeah, so i think we'll have to come in here after we get our home set up and uh grab all these conductors and hammers and Wonder glue, scrap metal, and, uh, vision batteries. One. Next area. Let's go back here. 
clear all the little side rooms out first. Scotch bottle. Okay. Let's go tell Harland that he'll be overjoyed. Yes, there really was quite noticeable in there. I just turn around and look that direction and I get a severe drop in frames. I mean, that was 15 frames dropped. It's still playable, but it's definitely not ideal. It's bordering on the bordering on the unplayable. to tell Harlan. I forgot about that. Where was Harlan? Yeah. So I think this is where Harlan was. Did you find my friend? Yes. I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. Alright. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. I'm sorry, Holland. Bad news. Which seems to sort of be my forte recently. So Harlan goes away. I don't want him to be upset that I disarmed his trap. Some jet. Concealed mine. It's not high enough to disarm. Okay. Just don't step on it. And we should be. Hey. My lord. It's gonna be a little bit heavy, but in metals. Disarm the shotgun. Disarm the shotgun. Steady. And tin cans. Traps up here. Bad Roach. That's how he was surviving up here, was on Rad Roach's terminal. Uh, shipment mistake. 
to Robco HQ Supply Department from Bill Martin, Repcon Custodian. Robco Supply Officer, let me say everyone here is really excited about the merger. Super to be part of a company as exciting as Robco. Have we got some kinks in the supply chain? Yesterday a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gross of devices called Stealth Boys. Is it okay if I ask what these things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will you Robco think of next? I don't know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you can have a lot of fun with these things. Thanks, Bill Martin. Workplace misbehavior. From Daniel Nevitt, Human Resources Manager to all Repcon staff. In light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading to Repcon's sexual harassment and workplace behavior policies. Uh... Also, while it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook, unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is grounds for immediate termination. Sincerely, Daniel Nevitt, HR Manager, Repcon Robco. Repcon Inter-Office Correspondence number 3486209 to Robco HQ Supply Department from Sanjeev Rajan, Repcon Custodian. Hi, Repco Supply, we're sending back two crates of devices labeled Stealth Boys back to you. According to the manifest, each crate contained one gross of the devices. As a result of employee mis misbehavior, not mine, one crate was opened and is missing five stealth boys. Sorry about that. Sincerely, Sanjeev Rajan, custodian. Okay. Out added stealth boy shipment. Declaration of Vital Essence with Nighttime Sniper. Storage Room Safe. That's the password for the Storage Room Safe. Uh, we've seen back two crates of stuff for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's just basically what we read. Saving it. Note. Some trash. Some detritus on the ground. Paperweights. No, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Three or eight rounds. Some more cat. Go let Jason write now. Uh, the good news. I should probably. It's one gun out. in here. You did good, smooth skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. Mr. Bright, there he is. Ready. Is the way clear? Yeah. Let's start with, what is this great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. 
preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Uh-huh. The people, well, the demons are gone. Praise the creator and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. Back. Basement. Guess we'll go back to the basement. Oh. Did not realize we were putting on a children's show. Assuming all these guys know where they're going. By all these guys, I mean the literally one tool that I'm able to keep up with. Everyone else is just gone. Ah, okay, so we're going down to the rocket room. Okay, that's kind of what I suspected. He's such a hurry, just knock that shit over. He was like, get out of the way! Over to the great beyond. All right. Is that Holland? Teleport or something? I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the great journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Of course they are. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yeah, let's talk about this, Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance <laughs> yeah. of his humanity. Yeah. And his inability to make the journey himself. Of course. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. So you're just going to leave him behind, yeah? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Wow, you've been using Chris. Despicable. But you know what, though? It's really not any of my business. He seems happy. Not any of my business. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Uh, all right. Yep. Goodbye. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Chris. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Yeah. How can I help? 
I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Okay. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Uh huh. And uh, you have any tips for where I might find two to three liters of rocket fuel? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers. It's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Uh huh. Okay. Bye. Highly radioactive. There's not anything. See. And going out there would so I would probably take horrible Igniting agent. This is a different, different thing. All right. Um. device it we got an 11 say no no radioactive device it kind of hoping one of the locked doors in here have the Good. But I need it. Rain. a fair amount as well. Uh, 
I came down from there, but what is over here? Kind of igniting agent. Be pretty awesome. In. Okay. Hello, Eddie. I guess there's Lord. just some kind of radioactive ruins that direction. And I guess that's where we're gonna have to go.